Welcome to my lecture online. Now here's our second example of how to work with word problems dealing with numbers. Here we're told that the sum of two consecutive odd integers is 18 more than their difference. What are the numbers? Well, if they're consecutive odd integers, that means they must be a part by two. In other words, if the first one is three, the next one must be five or 5 and 7, or 7 and 9, or 9 and 11, 11 and 13, and so forth. So that's what we mean by consecutive odd integers. Well, the best way to start again is by saying let x equal something. Let x equal. In this case, it'd be a good idea to let it equal the smallest of the two numbers. So let x equal the smaller number. And since the two numbers are consecutive odd integers, the next one would be x plus 2, would be 2 more. Whatever the smaller one is, the larger one would be 2 more. Now, if they're consecutive integers, then the larger one just would be 1 more. But since they're the consecutive odd integers, we have to go by 2. So we let x plus 2 equal the larger number. Now we need to come up with an equation so we can solve for x. And we're told that the sum is equal to 18 more than the difference. So now we're able to write that in an equation format with the variable x. So the sum of the two numbers will be x plus 2 plus 2 plus x, not plus 2, but plus x. It's the smaller, the smaller and the bigger number added together is equal to 18 more than the difference. So the difference would be x plus 2 minus x plus 18. Now we can solve this for x. We first want to get rid of the parentheses, so we end up with x plus 2 plus x is equal to x plus 2 minus x plus 18. The first thing we can see here is that we have an x minus x on the right side, so we can simply eliminate those two. Now we want all the numbers on one side, all the x on the other side, so this number goes the other side. A plus 2 becomes a minus 2, so we end up with x plus x is equal to 2 plus 18 minus 2. Now we collect common terms. 2x is equal to 18, divide both sides by 2, and x is equal to 9. Then we come up here and we recognize that x was defined as a smaller number, so the smaller number is equal to 9. And the larger number, which is 2 more, therefore has to be 11. And sure enough, they're both odd integers, and they're consecutive odd integers. One is the next odd integer compared to the first one. Just to make sure we did it correctly, let's plug those values in and see if they're correct. So the sum must equal 18 more than their difference. So here we do a check. The sum of the two numbers would be 9 plus 11. The difference would be 11 minus 9, and we add 18 to that. So 9 plus 11 is 20, that's equal to 2 plus 18, which is 20. And therefore, since 20 equals 20, we pick the right numbers. And that's how it's done.